We'll have more of that interview in a moment, but we begin with Sunday services remembering the victims. ABC 7's Sarah Schulte joins us live from the campus with the latest. Sarah. Well, Karen, this has been a week where people's faith has been tested. It's also been a time where people have relied on their faith to get through this. There wasn't a campus-wide church service today, but many people just turned to their individual churches for healing and comfort. The temperature has dropped, yet the cold winter air has not kept people from seeking out their source of comfort on campus. Nightly, many have come to the crosses set up at the Lutheran Campus Ministry. Tonight I finally got the courage to return to campus to attend a vigil and see the classes and say my prayers. Student Shelley Richter is returning to the NIU campus for the first time since Thursday. Two days before the shooting, she dropped the class where the tragedy happened. Malia Jones may be many years away from college, but she felt the need to write a message on one of the crosses. What did you write down on the, on the cross? I will say, like, um, I will love you, I will miss you, and I uh, hope we go to heaven. Five students were killed and several injured. This is a tragedy that has not only deeply affected the campus community, but the entire city of DeKalb. I just hope everyone in the country and in the world keeps their prayers and thoughts with all the family members of the victims and with our town because it, it hit us hard. So on this Sunday, turning to God was a way to heal. Prayers were said, tears were shed, and the victims were remembered at several different services throughout the city. And we, we wonder, how could a God of love allow something like this to happen? Others reminded their church community about how important their role is. People don't need a lot of words from us. They just need encouragement. They need a, an ear that will listen. A heart that is ready to love them to receive them, and that's what we're about today. And another source of comfort, especially for students, is this memorial and vigil that's been set up right near the crime scene. People have been here all day and have continued to come here tonight. The faculty here at NIU return on Tuesday. Students will come back a week from tomorrow. Live on the campus of NIU, Sarah Schulte, ABC 7 News. Ravi, back to you. All right, Sarah, thanks very much. Visitation was held.